was June of 2001 when the Tampa Bay Times decided to publish a feel-good story about a local hometown hero who had just graduated from one of America's most prestigious universities. Quoting from that piece, Excelling in academics and athletics, R.D. DeSantis wrapped up a stellar career at Yale University this month. The history and political science graduate earned a 3.75 GPA and captained the baseball team his senior year. Some of our students struggle when they first come to Yale, said John Stuper, the Ivy League school's baseball coach. When R.D. came here, his academic credentials were beyond reproach. When he was elected by his teammates as captain of the Bulldogs his final season, the outfielder heartily accepted the honor. Being voted by your peers says a lot of what they think of you, Stuper said. R.D. DeSantis, the baseball captain, is of course Florida Governor Ronald Dion DeSantis. Ron DeSantis. By all accounts, R.D. DeSantis thrived while at Yale. He was reportedly an attentive and popular student. He was well-liked by his peers and voted captain of the baseball team. So contrast that, that reality, with the way that Governor Ron DeSantis now describes his time at Yale. I remember the first time I stepped foot on the Yale campus and I show up in jean shorts and a t-shirt thinking like, hey, that did not go over well with the Andover and Groton kids. And then I start taking classes. They rejected God and they hated our country. And I'm thinking to myself, like, what have I gotten myself into? Just like the history curriculum in Florida schools, the history of Ron DeSantis's time in the Ivy League has been rewritten. Ron DeSantis now casts himself as a war warrior fighting the ruling elite, but an exhaustive new piece from the New York Times, Nick Confessori, details how much Ron DeSantis spent much of his life trying to succeed in those very same elite circles. While he was captaining the baseball team at Yale, DeSantis joined St. Elmo, a vaunted secret society at the school. He spent his undergraduate years dreaming about getting accepted at another elite institution, Harvard Law School. When DeSantis was eventually admitted to Harvard, he didn't find himself surrounded by cultural Marxists, as he has recounted, but by other conservative elites, people like Leonard Leo, the head of the Conservative Federalist Society, who later helped Governor DeSantis remake Florida's courts. After law school, DeSantis and some of his Harvard friends started their own tutoring firm to help tunnel other people into elite colleges. Their company literally boasted that it was the only LSAT prep course designed exclusively by Harvard Law School graduates. But now Governor DeSantis tells the story of his formative years through a very different lens, and he aims to distance himself from the very institutions that helped him become the national figure he is today.